In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Windows 10 if it's displaying as stretched. So what I mean by displaying as stretched, I mean that everything is currently very big and just doesn't fit your screen correctly. So at the moment, my screen just does not look right. And also I have some black bars either side of my display. So I will now show you a few different things that you can do which will hopefully resolve the stretched screen issues that you are currently having within Windows 10. So the first thing you need to do is right click on your desktop and you now need to select display settings. You now need to scroll down and the first option you need to change is the scale and layout. So this changes the size of the text and apps and other items within Windows 10 and currently mine is set to 125. Now if you have this set high, you need to change it to the recommended setting. So as you can see, mine is 100%. So if I change this to 100%, instantly that makes Windows 10 look a lot better and it makes everything fit to the screen a lot nicer. However, everything is still very enlarged and just does not look correct. And that's because my display resolution is too low for my monitor. So if you don't know what display resolution your monitor supports, head on over to the manufacturer's website for your monitor and see what the maximum resolution you can use. So you now need to select this drop down menu and you then need to select the recommended resolution or the resolution that your monitor supports, which it should say that on the manufacturer's website. Or you can always just go through and find the resolution that looks the best on your display. So I'm now going to select 1920 by 1080. And once you have done that, changing the resolution should resolve all the issues you were having with scaling and the screen being stretched and stuff like that within Windows 10. If that did not resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is close down settings and you now need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to select device manager. The next thing you need to do is expand display adapters and you now need to right click on your display adapter so your graphics card and you now need to select update driver. You then need to select search automatically for drivers and if it does detect that you have the best driver installed Head on over to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card, so NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, whichever one it is, download the latest drivers and then install them. Because if you do not have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card or the correct drivers, then you are going to run into some issues. And if you don't know what graphics card you have, it does say under display adapters here, you can see I have an NVIDIA and I've got a GTX 1660 Super. So that will be the graphics card I need to look for on the NVIDIA website and I will then need to download the graphics driver for that graphics card. So once you've done that and installed the latest graphics card driver, if that is still not resolving the issue that you're having, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the display adapters in Device Manager and select Uninstall Device. You will now get a window pop up you need to select delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. I'm not going to do this because I'm obviously recording this video, but once you have uninstalled the driver, go ahead and restart your computer and Windows will detect a new driver for your graphics card. But before you do this, I would recommend that you back up any important files. So once you've done that and if you're still having issues, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure Windows 10 is completely up to date. So to do this, right click on the start menu icon, click on settings. You now need to find update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. And if it does detect a new update, you then need to download and install that update. Also, while you're on here, if you do have optional updates available, click on View Optional Updates and go on to Driver Updates. See if there are any updates for your monitor or your graphics card if you didn't manage to download and install a new driver update for your graphics card earlier. If that didn't fix the issue, then the only other things you could try doing is changing the cable to your monitor or just reset your monitor to the factory default and see if that resolves the issue. If that doesn't resolve the issue and you're still having problems, then it could always be an issue with your graphics card. 
So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.